Hello, this is Enhancing the Online Course with Streaming Video. I'm Barbara Corton. In this workshop, I'll demonstrate how to search for videos in the library's collection, how to link to videos in Blackboard, and how to make clips of videos in Avon and Canvey. Let's start by searching the library's collection. OneSearch searches all of our video databases at once. Type in your topic and choose Books and Media CSUSB. Because we only want videos, on the left side of the screen, choose Video. At this point, lock your video for this session by clicking the lock. You can sort these results by date here. Let's click the first result. You can see that this video is available online at Academic Video Online, which we call Avon. If you scroll a bit, you get more information about this video. I'll click this result. And I see that this video is available in our database, DocuSeq2. Finally, I'll click on this result. This video is in Canopy, but we don't have this video right now. As a faculty member, you can click here to request it. When you request a video, the request comes to me, and I send you a confirmation email within three working days. Keep that email because it gives you the date the license begins and the date the license ends. When the license ends, the video disappears from our catalog without notice. If you expect to use this video in your course again next year, please add the ending date to your calendar so you can request the video again. Now let's search for a video by its title. Notice that our video is still locked. If we have the title, it will be the first or second result. I see that this result is a DVD, but the other one is online. I'll use that one. Let's see which database it's in. This is in Avon, in our local title. Let's go back to the home page so that we can browse the databases individually. These are all of our video databases. We'll look at Avon, DocuSeq2, and Canopy, Avon first. Avon is organized by channels. When you search in Avon, be careful to pay attention to this drop down menu. The default is current channel. Type in your topic. and change this to 
all channels. There are two channels that have videos about my topic. You can see that the channels have many videos inside them. I'll open this one. We can sort these results so that we see the newest videos first. When I hover over the title tile, I can click to see details about the video. And if I click on the arrow, I go straight into the deep video. When you type a title of a video here, make sure to change the drop down menu to all videos. This is important. If Avon has the video, it will be the first one. Most of the features you'll want to use are at the top here. The site feature is here where students can choose the citation style that they need and copy it to their document. If you want a link to this video in Blackboard, click share. Click copy permalink. Then click the first option, copy. The URL will be copied to your clipboard. Open your Blackboard course. Choose content. Then build content. And web link. Paste the URL from the clipboard into the URL box. Now, you need to add the library's proxy prefix to the front of this URL. Let's find the proxy prefix. Go to the library's homepage and choose library guides. Scroll down to video and choose streaming video tips for instructors. In the middle box on this page, you'll see the proxy prefix. Copy it. And then return to your Blackboard course. Paste the proxy prefix to the front of the URL and then give the link a title. Along with a description if you like. And submit. There is the link to your video. Let's go back to the video in Avon and make a clip. In order to make a clip, you must log into your personal Avon account. This is not the same as typing in your Coyote credentials. If you don't have a personal account, you'll need to create one before you proceed. Click on Clips. On the right side, Click on either sign in to create a new clip and log in, or I'm already logged in, so I click on create a new clip.
type in whatever title you want to give it. And a description, which might encourage critical thinking. And then click anywhere in this frame to start the video. When you hover over the playhead marker at the beginning of the video, it turns into a hand. Move the hand to the point in the video where you want the Begin. Notice that the stop, the start box here shows the timestamp now. Move the playhead marker on the right hand end to the point in the video where you want the clip to end. The finish box now shows your timestamp. Finally, and very importantly, change the setting here from only visible to you to visible within your institution. If you don't do this, no one will be able to view your clip in Blackboard and save changes. Your clip will show up on the right side of the video. Click on the three dots and choose share. Click on copy permalink and then on the first copy. Return to your Blackboard content page and click on build content, then on web link, and paste the link into the URL box. Once again, you'll need to add the library's proxy prefix to the front of the URL. Give the link a name and a description. And press submit. This is how your clip plays. Let's move on to DocuSeq. DocuSeq 2 is a simple to search in. Best way to begin is to click on Browse. Type in your topic, Happiness. And if you want the most current videos, Type in 2010, and 2020, and press filter. Choose the one that interests you. To locate the citation tool, click on credits and select the citation style you want to copy and paste into your document. 
let's go back to the browse page to do a title search. Click on advanced search. Go to the title box and change the drop down to is and type the video's title into the box beneath that. Scroll down and press find titles. If DocuSeek has this video, you will go directly to the video page. To find the citation tool, click on credits and type the citation and copy and paste it into your document. To link this video to your Blackboard course, click embed and copy the permalink here. Paste the link into the URL box. Look closely at the link now. You can see it already has the library's proxy prefix in it. So you don't have to add anything. Type the title into the name box. Add a description and press submit. DocuSeq 2 doesn't have a clip feature. Now let's go into Canopy. Notice that I've already signed into my personal user account. If you haven't already set up a user account, you'll need to create one because you can't make a clip or a playlist if you don't sign in. Type your topic here. All of these titles have been licensed by CSUSB faculty in the last few months. When the one year license expires, the title automatically disappears from this list. See below the list of videos, there's a section called videos you can request for your library. These are all the video catalog that we do not have. If you click on one of these, you'll be asked to fill out a request form, which comes to me. To do a title search, just type the title into the same box as before. If we already have it licensed, it will be the only result. Click on that result to go into the videos page. The features you want are here. The citation tool is under more to be copied and pasted into your document. To link to this video in Blackboard, choose share and copy the link provided. Take the URL to Blackboard as you did before and paste it into a new web link. Okay. 
and type it into the URL box. Once again, locate the proxy prefix and copy it. Paste it at the front of your new URL, type the title of the video into the name box and give it a description. There it is. Let's go back to Tres Madres to make a clip. Click on Create Clip Playlist, and then go to Create a New Playlist Box. Type in a name for your playlist, maybe your course name. Now, Click Edit Playlist to make a clip from the video you just placed in the playlist. Click on the Edit box here. It already has the clip title. If you want to change it, you can do that now. Perhaps add a question or a message and then start the video. When you hover over the playhead marker at the beginning of the video, it turns into a hand. Move the hand to the point in the video where you want the clip to begin and press capture. Notice that the start box here shows the timestamp now. Move the playhead marker at the right end more and more room in her room. Oh, I see. to the video point where you want the clip to end. And press capture. Are back to work? Yes. So, the time stop so shows the timestamp. Press Save Clip on the left, and we return to the Edit Playlist page. Click on My Playlist at the top of the page. See your clip. To add it to Blackboard, click Share Embed, and that copy to and copy the link that appears. Go to Blackboard, and paste it into the URL box of the new link. You need to add the proxy prefix again. Give the link a name and a description. And press submit. Now we have some links and clips in Blackboard.
to see library guides that may help you to build your video-based assignment, click on Library Guides. Scroll down and click on Video. You might find one that meets your needs. If you would like help searching for video databases or creating links, you can make a Zoom appointment with me. Click on Research Appointments and choose my name to check on my availability. When you complete the form, I'll get an email. I'll schedule a Zoom meeting and invite you to attend. Thank you, and good luck enhancing your online course with streaming video.